It's really fun to decorate your bedroom and your living room, but there's really nothing quite as special as decorating your child's nursery. I struggled to conceive Santiago for almost six years, and after a grueling battle with IVF last November, we finally got the exciting news that I was pregnant with a baby. Now, at the time, we decided not to know whether Santiago was going to be a boy or a girl. And it was so hard to keep that surprise. There's not a ton of inspiration when you don't know the gender. So instead of focusing on a theme for a nursery, we focused on picking elements of style that incorporated things that were really important to us. For example, we created a book wall. They start really, really low. So even when he's one, he can walk over to the wall and grab a book off the shelf. And as he gets taller, he can access the second and third shelf. And because I chose to put them in acrylic shelves, they really pop on our walls. It's almost like they're floating art on the side of his wall. I am half Mexican and half Puerto Rican. And when I was talking to my mom about really beautiful ways to incorporate our culture, she actually had an artisan make an Otomi tapestry to hang above Santiago's crib. When little babies come home from the hospital up until about three or four months, they can't really see that well, and they don't start to see colors until later. So I wanted to create a mobile that had high contrast, blacks, whites, and grays. Function definitely trumps style when it comes to your kids' rooms. What's gonna make diaper changes easier at night, in the middle of the night when you're sleep deprived? I wanted to have a place where my husband and I could comfortably sleep if we wanted to spend the night in his room with him, especially right now when he's so small. So having a day bed is great because it will grow with us as a family. Right now, it's for Patrick and I, but as he starts to get a little older, eventually we'll be out of this crib and into the day bed. And that's also a really important tip. In this nursery, we picked items that will grow with our family. For example, our dresser that has a changing table on top will be his dresser until he's much, much older. Baskets, you want them everywhere. And know that if I'm in a hurry and I'm just trying to pick up, I don't have to open drawers or open a closet. I can just throw things in the basket and it looks super neat and pulled together. The other element that's really important to me is right when you walk in the room, I want you to know a little bit about my son, Santiago. And so when you walk in, we actually hung a coat rack that has little fun memories and knickknacks that we love that hopefully he sees every time he walks in with us. And every time I look at it, I just think of him. I also think about the day when he's bigger and he'll be able to hang his own jean jacket up on his coat rack. Getting a little, I'm getting emotional thinking about that. And while Santiago is too small to let us know whether he likes the room or not, from all the giggles and hugs and laughs that we have in here as a family, I have a feeling that he absolutely loves it. <laughs> there he is! There he is! Hi, Liliana! Hey. Welcome, Santi! Hi, baby! Hey, hi, Rachel! It's so wonderful to be with you! We've missed you so much! Say hello, Bubba! Hi! Hi! He's so quiet. Is he always like that? What's his personality, Liliana? No, he's on his best <laughs> behavior because he knew he had people watching and he knew you were there. So no, he's actually a little sleepy right now, but I have to say we hit the jackpot, like the baby jackpot. He is so sweet and he's so good. Um, we're so lucky. Look, he's there, making me I promise. <laughs> oh my God, he looks so fat and happy. Hi, baby. He is the fattest and the happiest baby. This kid loves nothing more than a good meal. So we've been watching a lot of 30-minute meals because we're going to be cooking a lot for him. <laughs>